Okay, let's move to your question number three. Your organization has an Azure subscription that has multiple resources in different region. Now, your organization policy is stating that the administrator can be allowed to create any additional Azure resource only in the country where their office is located. To achieve this kind of policy requirement, what should you create? Right. So to understand this question, let's think it this way, that if your office is located on the different location, like one office is in London, one office is in the Boston, one office is in the Cape Town. So what your organization wants that you are only allowed to create a resource in the countries where your offices are located. Right. So if your office is in the Boston, you should be only allowed to create a resource in US. If your office is in the London, you should be allowed to create a resource in UK, right? And if you are in the Cape Town, you should be allowed to create a resource in the South African region, right? This is what is your requirement. Okay, on the next slide, I will be showing you that what are the option for this particular question. Okay, these are your options, option A, is your read only lock option b is your azure policy option c is your management group and option d is your reservation right so let me highlight the key point in this particular presentation as well that which particular point will be helping you out to find your answers okay so the key points here if you will notice that it is saying an organization policy right and then second point I highlighted is your to achieve this kind of policy requirement. So I think everybody is going to be familiar with the policies that what are the policy they are your, they could be your day-to-day -day operation policies. They could be a simple password policy in your organization that you should be changing the password in 90 days, or you should be changing the password in 180 days. What should be the length of password? Those kind of all things are your called your policies, right? And when we are talking about how we implement the policies in Azure, I think if you have gone through the course material of the AZ-900, you will be finding it very easy. And with that, the question is already indicating towards the answer here as well. So first is option A is your read only log. So that is not going to help you in this scenario because it will be only helping you out in the scenario where your user can't delete or change the state of your particular resource. Like if my machine is running, any a user, uh, even he has all the permission, he can't just go ahead and change the state of machine to deallocate or stop that machine, right? So that kind of thing is not going to help him out in that scenario. So resource lock is not going to help you out to implement uh, in the Azure policies, right? Next thing is your management group, which is option C. Right. So again, management group is not going to help you out there as well, because this just allow you or this is a way to manage your subscription, right? You can group multiple subscription into a particular single management group. This management group allow you to build an Azure subscription tree that can be used with several other Azure services, right? So C is also not the option. D is your reservation. So making the three-year deal or one-year deal with the particular, you know, uh, reserve instance with the Microsoft that I will be using your service for one year or three year, it will help you to reduce your payments as well. So it will be helping you to save money, but not the implementing policies. So we left with only B, which is your Azure policy, right? So answer for this particular question is your B, Azure policies. So Azure policy is a service in Azure, which will be allowing you to create policy, which is going to enforce and control the property of a particular resource, right? And you can use these policy to just be compliant with your IT governance and standards as well. So that is something with your Azure policy, right? So answer for this question is going to be your Azure policy. Okay. So thank you for joining us today in the AZ 900, which is your Azure fundamental certification questions, right? Wishing you all very best of luck. Hope all of you are going to clear Azure fundamental exam. Thank you.